Hey everyone, it's Nurse Sarah, and in this video, I'm gonna demonstrate how to solve maternity magnesium sulfate dosage calculations using the ratio and proportion method. Now, if you wanna solve these problems with me, you can download a free worksheet via the link in the description below. So let's get started. Our problem says that we have a patient with eclampsia and they're ordered to start IV magnesium sulfate and the healthcare provider has ordered them a four gram loading dose over 20 minutes. And you're supplied with a bag of IV mag that says four grams per 100 mLs. And what you need to figure out is the milliliters per hour. So to help us do that, we again are using this ratio and proportion method. But let's say you prefer a different method like dimensional analysis or desired over half. I have a bunch of videos up here that you can access that will show you how to use those methods instead. So whenever we are setting up our problem using ratio and proportion, what we're doing is we are creating these ratios and then we're gonna solve. And then in the end, these ratios should be proportionate, hence equal to each other. So we have to create two different ratios. You have to create a known ratio and an unknown ratio. To create a known ratio, you're gonna take information from your problem that you know. So this is going to be the dose you got over the volume you got. Then for your unknown ratio, you're gonna put in the dose that was ordered by the healthcare provider, and this is gonna be over X. This is what you don't know, hence why we call it the unknown ratio. And in this case, this is going to be the milliliters, because first we have to solve for the volume that this patient's gonna get. Then we have to figure out what it's going to flow in at or infuse at our milliliters per hour. So let's plug it in and do it. Okay, so first step we're gonna do is create our known ratio. So the dose we got, the dose we, got, dose we got is a four gram dose and over the volume we got. Volume we got is 100 milliliters. And we're gonna do equal. This is going to be the dose ordered. The dose ordered is four grams. And this is over X. And we're trying to solve for milliliters, our volume first. So before you ever use this method, you always have to just double check before you just go and cross multiply because this is how you solve these, you cross multiply. You have to make sure that your units of measurement match up. So do these units match? They do. Do these units match what we're trying to solve for? Yes, they do. If they did not, you would have to do some converting. Like you can use this method on other dosage calculation problems and a lot of times this will be like grams and milligrams and you'll have to convert. So just always keep that in mind. Okay, so since everything matches up, we are going to cross multiply. So four times X equals four X. 100 times four gives us 400. Now what I wanna do is I wanna get this little X all by himself. So to do that, I'm gonna divide this side by four. That cancels out four over here, gives you X all by itself. But what you did on this side, you have to go over here and do on this side. So we're gonna divide this by four. So 400 divided by four. Whenever we do that, we get 100. So what did we get? We got 100 mLs. So this is the volume that needs to go in. So that's great. I needed to know that number. But now I need to know the milliliters per hour. So what I'm gonna do, it's very simple. I am going to go down here and I'm going to put my 100 milliliters. That needed to go in over how much? 20 minutes over 20 minutes. So now I'm just gonna divide. 100 divided by 20 gives me five. Okay, it gives me five what? It gives me five milliliters per minute. Don't let this confuse you and you leave that as your answer because you'll be marked wrong. You need to get this into hours because milliliters per hour is what they wanna know. So to do that, we're going to ask ourselves, okay, how many minutes are in an hour? One hour, we know that there's 60 minutes in one hour, right? So we're gonna multiply that by five. And when we multiply 60 times five, we get 300. 300 now milliliters per hour. And that is our answer. This problem says that we have a patient who's 29 weeks pregnant and they have eclampsia. And they've already received a six gram loading dose of IV magnesium sulfate. Now the healthcare provider wants them to have a one gram per hour maintenance dose. And you're supplied with a bag of mag that says on it 20 grams per 500 mLs. And what you're trying to determine is the milliliters per hour. So let's go ahead and create our ratios. First up is our known ratio. This is the dose you got over the volume you got. So the dose we got is 20 and that's gonna be over 500. So we're gonna write it like that. 20 grams over 500 milliliters equals the dose ordered over X. The dose ordered is one gram per hour. 
over x and we're trying to determine milliliters so we're just going to throw milliliters right there and again before you just go and cross multiply make sure these units match up we have grams here grams here good we have milliliters here milliliters there good so now let's cross multiply 20 times x gives me 20 x 500 times 1 gives me 500. Now I have to get this little old x all by himself. So to do that, I'm going to divide this side by 20. When you do that, that cancels out 20 and gives you x all by himself. But what you did on this side, you have to do over here. So divide 500 divided by 20. When we do that, we get 25. So our answer is 25 milliliters per hour. This problem says that a patient who has eclampsia needs to be started on IV magnesium sulfate. So the healthcare provider wants them to first have a loading dose of six grams over 20 minutes. And you're supplied with a bag of magnesium sulfate that reads four grams per 100 mLs. Then followed by that, once that's complete, they want the patient to start on a maintenance dose. And they want the patient to have two grams per hour. And you're supplied with a 10 gram per 250 ml bag. So for both of these, you are solving for milliliters per hour. So we're doing two calculations, so you're going to get two different answers. So first up, we're going to solve for our loading dose. So let's plug it in to our formula, I mean our ratios, and we're going to create a known ratio first. So this is the dose you got over the volume you got. We have a dose of 4 grams, and that's going to be over 100 mLs because that's our volume. So we'll say four grams over 100. This is equal to the dose we got, the dose ordered. This is our unknown ratio, which is a six gram dose over X, which is what we are solving for. This is the milliliters we're solving for. So we want to confirm that our units match up, they do. So we can go ahead and cross multiply. Four times X equals four X, 100 times six. That gives us 600. We got to get X all by himself. So divide this side by four. That cancels out four. That gives you X. But what you did on this side, you got to do on this side. 600 divided by four. That's going to give us 150 milliliters. So this is the volume that needs to go in. But we have to figure out the milliliters per hour. So we got to take it a step further. Therefore, what we do is we're going to say 150 milliliters over how, uh, over what amount of time does this have to go in? Over 20 minutes. So we're going to divide 150 divided by 20. That gives us 7.5 milliliters per minute. Okay. Problem wants to know milliliters per hour, so we're not quite done yet. So let's get this into milliliters per hour. To do that, we know that there are 60 minutes in one hour. We're going to multiply that by 7.5. And when we do that, we are going to get 450 milliliters per hour. And this is our answer for our loading dose. Now, let's jump over to our maintenance dose. And let's put a little line here so we don't get confused. Again, let's create our ratios. So the dose you got over the volume you got, that's your known ratio. This is going to be 10 over 250. For 250 mLs equals our unknown ratio. This is the dose that's ordered. It's a two gram dose per hour over X. And we're solving for milliliters. So again, double check that your units match up. They do, we're good, we can cross multiply. So 10 times X gives me 10 X equals 250 times two. That gives me 500. Got to get X all by himself. And so we're going to divide on this side by 10. Cancels out. 10 gives me X. And then what we did on this side, we have to do on this side. So 500 divided by 10 gives me 50. And so my answer is 50 milliliters per hour. And that's the answer for the maintenance dose. Okay, so that wraps up this review. And if you'd like more practice on these problems, I have a free quiz on my website that you can access via the link in the description below.